Hey guys, my name is Donnie and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode where I build a Jaguar from scratch and guys I am continuing down on the list of things that I need to do to finish up this car and the next thing on the list is building a pedal box for the car and boy oh boy is there a lot of work that needs to be done so guys basically I need to install a clutch pedal, a brake pedal and an accelerator pedal over here and two things needs to happen number one is that they need to fit properly so that my legs and everything will fit properly in this tub over here and secondly ex for instance the brake pedal needs to be extremely strong because i need to be able to press down on it without everything moving or giving way or budging or anything like that so i need to make it very very strong and also thirdly actually is i need to make it look more or less like the original car now guys, I have decided that I'm going to, in this instance, prefer function over form because a brake pedal, in my opinion, is probably the most important part of a car. Ittore Bugatti will probably disagree, but that is, to me, probably the most important thing in any car is the brake pedal. So I'm not going to skimp on it or anything like that. I'm just going to make sure that it's very, very strong and built properly. Um, now guys, let me start in the beginning when i started this project i got a chassis that i built this jaguar on top of and i think that chassis is probably from something like a cobra or something like that because it is not exactly the dimensions what the what the d-type was and that means that my seating position or the floor position is a little bit higher than what the original d-type was so i need to try and compensate for that now guys in the original car yeah where your feet were there was a tub that was cut into the floor so i'm going to be making a tub for this car also i'm just going to make my tub a little bit deeper to compensate for the fact that the floor is higher than the original car and then i can also make the seat a little bit lower and then my seating position will be exactly the same as what the original car was so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a tub that i'm going to fit into that hole but before i do that I first want to modify that part of the chassis over there because I feel like I need just a little bit more leg room so when my feet touches on this chassis I feel as if it needs to go just a little bit forward so what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna be cutting that square piece of chassis and then just fold it over so it'll become a triangle it'll still be very very strong but I'm just gonna um, squeeze in just a couple of millimeters extra of leg space and then I can adjust the size of that hole there and then I can start making the tub and then I can climb into the car and make sure that my feet and everything is exactly what I wanted and then I can decide on where I'm going to be putting the brake and the clutch and the accelerator cable now guys that is the clutch master cylinder so I'm going to be making a hole over there and then I'm going to installing the clutch pedal to that master cylinder and then as far as the brakes are concerned I'm going to be putting the, the, the brake master on top of this tub so this is the cover that's going to go on top of that and I'm going to be using this brake master cylinder and I'm going to be installing it on top of this tub it is very much the same way as what the original car was even though that brake master looks a little bit different it was also on top and what I can also do at a later stage then is if I want to I can remove this plastic reservoir and just add a couple of pipes over there and make myself a nice pretty reservoir that's going to sit over here so that it'll look very much the same as the original car and then the third thing is going to be an accelerator uh, pedal so I'm going to be putting the accelerator over here with a long shaft that's going to go there to the carburetors and I'm going to fit that or connect it to the carburetor so that they open and close when you press on the accelerator cable so guys this is going to be a lot of work for one video but and also i'm not exactly sure how i'm going to do it so basically i'm just going to go along and make sure that everything is properly built and then after a couple of minutes i can update you so guys without any further ado first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to modify that piece of the chassis and then i'm going to build that top and then we'll take it from there
Okay guys, there we go. I've made that little tub over there and it is working nicely and it looks very much the same as what the original car did, except that it's a little bit lower than the original car. Uh, now for the update guys, um, and full disclosure, I've got to tell you that usually when I pick up the camera and I give you guys an update, I spend a lot of time to try and explain exactly what needs to happen and how I plan on doing it in the least amount of words so that I can so that you guys can know exactly what's going to happen next but this one is a little bit awkward and difficult for me to explain but basically I'm going to be installing these pedals now in this tub over here one for the clutch and one for the brake and one for the accelerator and the things that I needed to consider guys for instance was the height of these pedals because when my foot is in there it needs to fit nicely in the ball of my foot so the height needs to be exactly right and then secondly these pedals are way too long because this tub over here is lower than what these pedals was made for now the other thing that i needed to consider guys is the ratio between where the pedal is compared to the fulcrum compared to the clutch or the brake master cylinder this is going to be the clutch master cylinder and the ratio that i'm looking for in the clutch is about a six to one ratio so if you were to divide this clutch pedal into six pieces then this one will be there on the six piece because i need this clutch to be not only soft enough so that i can disengage the clutch but also the travel needs to be so that it won't hit the back of that firewall over there and not disengage the clutch and also it mustn't be so that it is too spongy when you're pressing down the clutch <clears throat> the same goes for the brake pedal uh, it needs a ratio of almost about just about the same about five to one so if i was to divide this brake pedal into five pieces then the brake mass is going to go there except i'm going to be putting it on top of this fulcrum so it's going to go on that side of this brake so i need to extend that piece over there so that when you press down on this brake it's going to engage the brake master and also this one also needs to be shortened quite a lot and i've got this kind of pedal box effect over here so i'm going to probably be cutting it up and using some of these parts in my endeavors to get a brake clutch and accelerator pedal situation happening over there but the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reinforce the front of that firewall over there with another piece or with an additional three millimeter plate that i'm going to be putting in there so that i can install this clutch master cylinder to the front of that firewall and it'll have a nice and strong fitment over there so that it won't budge when he's pressed down on the clutch pedal the second thing i'm going to do is i'm going to replace this plate or this cover also with a three millimeter aluminium piece because this cover is going to also be exposed to some of the forces that's going to be applied to this brake pedal and after that i can make the brake slash master cylinder bracket that's going to go on top of here where everything's going to be bolted onto so like i said i'm a little bit iffy exactly how i'm going to be doing this and i'm not exactly sure how i was going to explain this but i hope it makes a little bit of sense but basically i'm going to be installing the clutch and the brake and then the accelerator in that hole over there and i'm going to try my best to make it work by using some of these parts a little bit extra any guys give me a couple of minutes and i'll see if i can make something out of all of this
Alrighty guys, there we go. A couple of hours later and I've made myself a pedal box for the Jaguar. And like I said guys, it does not look exactly the same as the original car, but in this case, function was more important than form. But I did use the exact same layout as the original car, so I've got the brake master here on top, and it goes to the brake pedal at the bottom of here, and it is also adjustable. And I could at a later stage just remove this plastic reservoir and put a metal one in here like the original car i've got the accelerator cable over here or the i've got the accelerator over here that goes on a spring like the original car and it goes on an accelerator rod that goes to the carburetors that i could just trim down to size and then connect to the carburetors the same as the original car and i also got this clutch pedal over here and the clutch master that's over there goes in by the firewall exactly like the original car so like i said it is very much the same layout even though it looks a little bit different i was just making sure that everything was nice and strong now i can install this plate onto the car and i've also added these rev nuts so that i can bolt this pedal box onto this plate now that i've made sure everything fits nicely and it'll be nice and secure so i can just rivet it into position permanently and what i've gone ahead and done is i've also made this cover that goes over there that's going to cover this steering column so that it'll look exactly like the original car and i think also it's going to add to the structural integrity of this whole box so let me install this quickly and then i can install the pedal box onto the box and we'll see what it looks like guys there we go check it out done and dusted it is looking very very good i've got to tell you this whole pedal box is now in position everything is riveted into position apart from the fact that i did run out of some rivets but guys it is looking so nice i think i'm just going to paint this a lighter shade of gray because on the original car it was aluminium so i'm just going to paint it a lighter shade of gray and then it's going to look even closer to the original but it's working well i climbed in the car and i just made sure that everything works and my feet in the position everything is nice i'm just going to adjust the clutch position just a little bit but it's very much adjustable and i'm going to replace these silver screws with a set of bolts just to make it look even closer to the original and then i can replace this reservoir at the later stage with a steel reservoir with some copper pipes going in there making it look even more like the original but guys this is awesome i'm so glad that i've got this crossed off the list this was probably the biggest single item on that list that needed to be done i'm very happy that it was done that i got it done but guys i am done for this video i am so glad that you guys watched and i hope that you enjoy it and i hope i will see you guys in the next video until then cheers